Hey everyone, today I'm going to be comparing and ranking 4K graphics settings for Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. I wasn't really expecting the outcome of this comparison, so be sure to stick around and see which settings are best for this game. Before I get into that, my name is Puri and welcome to Purology. If you want to see the latest and greatest in gaming hardware optimized and pushed to its limits, and other benchmark and hardware videos, then please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay up to date. Still in Times Square. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? I should have called. No disrespect. I know, I should have called first. Your work, Spider Man. Teach him some respect. I'll be leading your dead. This doesn't care. I'll shut your mouth permanent. Oh no, we can't let him beat us. Again? This is only ex 
unacceptable if you're all showing up in clown cars! Okay, we're going to look at some performance metrics here. 4K native had the highest GPU temperature, usage, and power consumption, while dynamic resolution scaling had the opposite. It had the lowest GPU temperature, usage, and power consumption. FSR 2.0 and DLSS were in the middle with similar numbers. On the CPU side, the opposite was happening. 4K native had the lowest CPU temp, usage, and power consumption, while DRS had the opposite. It had the highest CPU temp, usage, and power consumption. Again, FSR 2.0 and DLSS were in the middle with similar numbers. Comparing FPS numbers, dynamic resolution was the best performing in all fields, while 4K native was the lowest performing in all fields. Again, FSR 2.0 and DLSS were in the middle with similar numbers. So for my setup, I found dynamic resolution scaling to be the best blend of graphics and performance. 4K DLSS and FSR 2.0 performed very similarly and were right in the middle. 4K native performed the worst. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.